Hello! Big news today! Penpot 2.4 just dropped and it brings amazing updates that you are gonna love, such as new file history version, viewer role and more. So grab your favorite coffee, sit back and let's explore everything new in Penpot 2.4. Okay, so to access your file history, you only have to click in the history icon in the right toolbar. Uh, first, a quick recap of what the Undo history is, this action tab. So this action panel uh, is like a play by play of all the tweaks you have made, like adding rectangles, moving it around, tweaking some text, deleting something by accident. If you want to, to go back to a specific step, you only have to click and boom. Okay, you are back to where you were. Uh, the problem with all these actions is that they will be lost when you close the browser tab or end your work session in Penpot, as the entire history is, is stored in the cache. So let's delete this. The file history version is like having a safety net. It tracks both manual and autosave versions of your file. You can save a specific state as you can see here. This is uh, the fourth version that I already saved. And you come back in time or, you know, pin your milestone. It's perfect for those, oops, <laughs> what I was thinking moments, right? So in the history panel, you will see all the version of your file, these autosave versions, right? Stick around here for seven days and these manual versions are here forever uh, or until you delete them. For example, this is the very first version I, I did, but I can go forward and restore the last version of my design with all component documentation, etc. So, well, you can restore it or even pin it and give it a name for quick access. So let's create a new version. Uh, imagine that we want to change the light theme to a dark theme, for example. If that's in color, I'm going to change it to purple. I'm going to change this back color black, this foreground color to white, this to white, this foreground color to, to white. Linear gradient, I use black and black. So the only thing that I have to do is go to the file history versions, create here, save version, give it a name, dark theme. And boom, it is already saved. And if I want to go back to the previous version, click in restore and here I have it again. Assign the viewer role is super easy. Just head over to your team settings, uh, pick the member you want and select viewer and boom. Also, you can invite them using their emails and selecting viewer when you are creating the invitation. It's perfect for keeping, you know, your design safe while still enable collaboration. Okay, so now I'm joining the file as a viewer and as you can see the interface uh, change. I have here in the right sidebar the inspect column, uh, no more design options and I can click and inspect elements but can't move things around or mess with the, the design stuff or even rename things, right? Uh, viewers can drop comments directly on your designs so whether it's feedback, approvals or questions, everything you know states organized and in context. Another new feature in this release is the updated format of Penpot files. We've redesigned the structure of these files. Now it will streamline the import and export of files and assets by being more efficient 
and compatible. So here we have now one option, replace the previous two. So if you just need to import or export files quickly, it will be a bit faster. And if you want to extract data, like a list of color assets, this new format is much easier to read. Many of you have asked for this and here it is. With just a tap, you can rename any selected layer using the keyboard uh, shortcut Alt N. So I select the layer, Alt N and boom. Yeah, and here it is. It's super intuitive to stay organized. Just select, uh, rename and yeah, you are done. That's it. Well, let me know your thoughts in the comments below and as always, please subscribe to the channel, like the video and enable the notifications for more Penpot updates. Until next time and take care.